Feels like it's been a while since we've done a full on just haul, not in a vlog, but that's what we're doing today, friends. So get a little cup of tea or a glass of wine because I've done some shopping. This is gonna be a collective haul and there's a lot to get to. <laughs> My name is Mare, welcome to the marathon in which we talk about all things and today we're talking about a little retail therapy. This is one thing to show you, this is my Starbucks mug that I'm drinking coffee out of this morning that I got in Vegas. So um, this is going to be what I bought in Vegas, what I bought before Vegas as well. These are from Something Pretty, they are locally made in my area by a brand called Lavender and Grace. These really cool like tortoiseshell earrings. I wish you could feel how light they are, but I'm excited to bust those out. I was gonna wear them today, but then I wanted to include them in the haul. And then some of these things, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen, but I wanted to show you anyways. Oh, I already wore this in a video actually. This is a cardigan from Love Tree. It's really soft, like three quarter length, really pretty. And what I like is that it isn't shedding. I don't want my clothes on my other clothes. This is from something pretty. This is from Dex. I wore this and I don't know if I've ever gotten so many compliments. It's a cardigan, but I've been wearing it as like a coat because it's not quite cold enough for an actual winter jacket. But this is timeless. Like I will wear this probably until I wear it out. So it's really nice. This is by Two Hearts and it's got uh, a little like tie in the front a little bit longer in the back this army green color which you've already seen me wear in a vlog this is the only thing I haven't worn yet only because it hasn't been cold enough but this sweater from Dex which I love it looks cropped but it's not it just like comes to your actual waist I for sure you'll be seeing this in videos I'm obsessed with this so that's everything I've gotten at something pretty lately oh I didn't even mention I'm gonna do a giveaway at the end of this video mm-hmm so stay tuned. Okay, let's do, I'm gonna save what I bought in Vegas for last because there's a lot. Let's do candles and get these out of the way. I went to Bath and Body Works on the way home from the airport. Our flight got in at almost midnight, so we ended up just sleeping, like getting a hotel and then coming home the next day because I had to get an overnight babysitter anyway. So did a little shopping and I went on my Bath and Body Works and candles were only $13, so we stocked up. My email had come in that morning and there was uh, something free under $14.50, so I got the lavender and vanilla essential oil candle. I like to have a little candle in my bedroom. I don't burn it very often, um, and I don't like a three wick in my bedroom. I quite often will just have my diffuser, but in case. Okay, we're, these are in no particular order. We got Cranberry Woods. Limoncello is like, it makes your house smell like you just washed it with Pledge, which is a good scent in my opinion. This Marshmallow Fireside, this is a staple. Kind of looks like it almost has the marathon or arrow. Sweater Weather, another staple. Like lots of these, I don't think I got any that were new this year. That's a fun label though. We've got Cinnamon Bark. This one was chosen I think by the unicorn. That was the one that he liked, which he probably won't want me to include in this video, too bad. <laughs> Mahogany Teakwood is a staple. I probably have at least one in my basement already. Uh, Frosted Cranberry, we're getting a little bit into the winter scents with this one. Oh, it smells like the cranberry stuff at Body Shop. If you've ever had that at Christmas time. And the last one I bought is, oh, flannel. These are all classics. I've said in previous videos that I would like other candle options. Nothing I have tried can even touch Bath and Body Works. So here we are. Okay, I need a little water after that. More scent, some sage stuff. I needed a new diffuser for my bedroom and this one was discounted. It's the Aroma Art Petite diffuser. Here, let me get it out. It's a limited edition and it's one that you can draw on. I'm sure you can tell by my tone that 
that will probably not be happening. Although part of me could see like me writing some, you know, magical messages on it, some affirmations or something. We'll see. Let's be honest, you're probably gonna see that on Instagram. So it's made of like chalk material. It also came with an oil, which I don't, I didn't think I knew that. And yeah, okay. So it came with the chalk, but let me just show you this. Oh, it came with Daydream, a relaxing diffuser blend. That's a nice addition. Ooh, that is relaxing. Ooh, okay. I thought this one would be just be nice in my bedroom. It just looks like this. I diffuse essential oils every night for sure. So I thought this one just looked classy. So you could check, see if it's still on sale. And then a couple of things that I got. One is new and one has always been sold out every time I've tried. The one that's always sold out is Aroma Fairy. It is one for kids and their sleep. I am gonna try this on Thomas in the evening. It says to put like under their chin, I think. Roll under chin, behind ears, and on wrists. Apply to tissue and place in pillowcase. So that might be good too. It's just a standard roller ball. But um, I like that it was safe for kids. I do Thieves. Thomas has an essential oil diffuser in his room and I use Thieves most winter and any cold and flu season. Um, and then sometimes I'll put lavender. And then this one is also for kids and it's called Fortify Petite. And it is a children's cough and cold diffuser blend. So a couple of oils for old T-bone, which we're gonna try. It's got a bit of a sniffle. Tis the season. This is something that I'm not gonna open because it's a gift for my mom as a thank you. She was one of one five, four or five people who helped me while we were gone. Got a couple of things from Zara. And then that is for my mom, that gift. This is from Anthropology, which I just thought was so freaking cute. I have a large head, and so I didn't want a large headband. But okay, obviously I'd wear it differently. But cute, right? Cute, 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 cute. These are from Zara. I got some pants that are, you know, a nice, is this a hound's tooth perhaps? They're stretchy, stretchy. They are the legging high rise, the high rise legging. And they have a zip up the front. So that'll be interesting. I definitely did a lot of squats in the change room to make sure that it's not gonna, you know, undo on me. So I got this, which is so fabulous. It is a leopard print laser. And it has three quarter length sleeves and it is a little bit long, like it covers my thumb. But it looks so cute on. I'm sure you'll see it on my Instagram. I'm not doing a try on haul because like, I'm trying to be better about showing you my outfits on Instagram and, and in vlogs and stuff. So this I thought would be fun, you know, like maybe book tour perhaps next year or just work in general, like a little badass boss business meeting. I'm not even gonna show you the mess behind me, but I am gonna pause and take another sip of coffee. So that was the beginning of what I bought in Vegas. Zara and Anthropology. I went to two different Sephora's and I was really disappointed that they didn't have the Tarte Shape Tape, which you'll probably see in the vlog. I think I mentioned that, how annoyed I was. So is it only Ulta that has Tarte Shape Tape, even though Sephora also carries Tarte? I know you can't get it in Canada unless you order it online. But I did see this in the Tarte stand. This is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. Uh, and it is just like a little baby version of it. So it's still a Tarte concealer, but it's not the Miracle Shape Tape. It's cruelty free, it's vegan, which you know I love. It says 20, or says 16 hour hydration, full coverage, waterproof. So it's just a little baby one, because I didn't want to spend the money on a giant one. So I'll report back. It's looking very light, which I guess is good. Cover up those bags. <laughs> Another Tarte product, which is called Fake Awake. Are you seeing like a theme with the lack of sleep? Uh, this is an eye highlight and I use it in the waterline 
to make it look like I'm not as tired. And when I um, try, put it on my hand, when I swatched it, it lasted a while. Like the one I have on right now, you can kind of see. But I only did my makeup like an hour ago. This will be gone by lunch. So I will report back. That's a little hack, if you will. And then, is that all I got from Sephora? Just those two things? Oh no, I also got, oh we were on a real tart tear. I got the Tartlet in Bloom palette. This has been something I have put in and out of my basket on the Sephora app for probably two years. And I finally decided to go for it. So it's a real like neutrals palette which I've been needing. My eyeshadows are all so old. I don't remember when I bought them. I love the Urban Decay original Naked Basics, but it's discontinued. And this to me looked like the closest I'd seen to it, plus a bunch of other shades as well. These would be my like go-to shades for everyday business wear or something that I would travel with because it's got like some nice sparklies in there as well. I haven't really been wearing makeup much at all in the last few years and I really had gotten into it uh, and then stopped. So I, that's on like my vision board. I posted that. Yes, I posted that video. <laughs> um, my vision board, part of my vision board, I just wanted to like look nicer and take more time in my appearance and like, you know, brush my hair, put on some makeup, put an outfit together. Like I like, I like to look nice. I looked like, like to look presentable. So I've been trying to do more makeup, but it's become very apparent to me that a lot of my makeup is old and needs to be replaced. So hence this bad boy. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited about that. Canada doesn't have Morphe and I've always been really fascinated by it just from watching lots of YouTubers talk about it and I wanted to check it out so we were in the Miracle Mile and they had a whole Morphe store which I was unaware of so we went in and did a little bit of damage I have always heard such great things about the Jeffree Star makeup but have never seen it in person. I've never been able to like swatch it myself and I'm always uncomfortable just buying stuff online if I've never actually seen it, the quality, etc. So I got two Jeffree Star collections, I guess you could say. Okay, I just had to look up the name of this because I threw the box out before we left for the airport because I only carried on. I didn't have a bag to check and the packaging was beautiful, but it was way too big. So this is the Mini Nudes bum Bundle in reds and pinks. I'm not sure how I'm gonna be able to show you. Can you see? It's got like lots of options. Pretty, pretty. I liked that they were mini because, I mean, I'm never gonna use up these bullets, and if I do, then I will happily buy the full size, but, um, these are them. So they come in, obviously you can see like lots of nice shades. I'll just do a quick swatch of one. This one's called Doll Parts. Whoa. Like, can we, this is so old school. Look, that's just one swipe of the wand. Like, Look at that color. <laughs> so I'm a little bit intimidated, but I'm also really excited to be trying them. They are vegan and cruelty free. All of his products are, I'm scared this is now gonna get in my hair. Let, let me just swatch another one because I'm gonna have to go wash this off. This one's called Unicorn Blood. <laughs> and it is crazy. Like, hello. Oh, hello there. I kind of just wanna swatch them all now that I'm sitting here. This one is Red Rum, like, look at that. And they say they wear all day, that they don't bleed, so obviously we will put these to the test, but I'm really excited to try those, try a nice, like, high quality. They are called the Mini Velour Liquid Lipsticks. Then I also got a Jeffree Star palette. This one is called uh, Blood Sugar. Look at this. 
I mean, I don't think I would ever be um, traveling with this bad boy, but the packaging is just, it's incredible. Have you ever seen a palette that opens like this? Okay, here we go. Ta-da! Those are the, the colors in that. So a little bit different than the nudes, but there are still, you know, some like nice neutrals that I have in the other palette that I bought, but some colors to play around with to get out of my comfort zone. Like I'd love to be able to get more comfortable wearing dark colors like this or like this. So um, stay tuned. I'm really excited to have branched out of my comfort zone. And then I also just got a, a Morphe eyelid primer because my e.l.f. one is almost out. This was in the duty free at the Vegas airport. I'm almost out of my Gucci Bamboo, which is my, like, favorite scent. I've had it now for three years, I think, and I will repurchase that, but it was not a deal, especially with the American exchange rate, like the Canadian dollar. If you're American and you want to go on a cheap vacation, come to Canada. Everything will be 40% off for you, but vice versa, everything is 40% more when you go to the States if you're Canadian. So anyways, um, this was in duty free and it seemed to be a little bit cheaper and also there's no like Victoria's Secret around me. This is the Victoria's Secret Tease perfume. Um, I have had I think three or four of the roller balls. I mean I just had to show you how pretty the bottle is. Can we just? If you're still here let's do a little giveaway. I thought it'd be fun to do a little giveaway. I found this in my collection and I've never used it and I wanna pass it on to one of you. You know I love my Matt and Nat. They are a Canadian company that is cruelty free, that is vegan, that is sustainable. They make purses and backpacks and wallets. Now they make clothes and shoes and I've loved Matt and Nat for years. Right now my wallet is Matt and Nat, my crossbody and my backpack, obnoxious. Like I took all three of those to Vegas and um, I have like many other items. And this is one that I bought that I've never even touched and I wanted to pass it on to one of you. So as a thanks for A, making it through this ridiculously long haul and B, we've just, we're due for a giveaway. We haven't done one in a while. I wanna give away this beautiful, perfect for fall color clutch. It's a clutch, but it's also a wallet. So it's really cool. Uh, in this section, you just have a space for your phone. And then in the back, this part opens and you've got a place for a zillion cards plus uh, cash, like coins. And then this part, um, this coin part with a few card options also uh, unbuckles so if you just wanted to use that you could it's really pretty it's really soft it's really beautiful and I am kind of kicking myself that honestly I've never taken this out of the house and so I thought why not one of you enjoy so uh, in order to enter this giveaway you just need to be a subscriber of my channel if you're not there's a button down below to click the link to subscribe and just comment down below telling me um, what's your favorite thing in my haul that I purchased. Clothes, candles, makeup, perfume, you name it. <laughs> and I will be, uh, I will uh, pick one lucky winner and mail this to you. So if you would like this beautiful piece of matinette, feel free to comment down below. But that's gonna be it. That is it for this incredibly long haul. Thank you for watching. Uh, lace up, subscribe, become a marathoner. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And sometimes a little retail therapy is just what that marathon needs. I will see you in the next one. It will probably be my vlog from Vegas. So don't worry, I did vlog a little bit so you can see some of the shenanigans. And then uh, we'll be back to your regularly, irregularly scheduled programming. So thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.